everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Britt here, and today we're going to be discussing my pen cases and my newest pen case to add to my collection, I guess you could say. But this is really a, my first fountain pen case. Now, I have done a video on this bad boy, and I say that because he's a big chunk. Look how thick it is. But it's actually lasted me ever since I did that video, which is probably a month or two. And I haven't had any tears or any rips. And I am I do have this thing stuffed. Like, I can zip it up, but I typically don't because it's so stuffed already. And I'm in and out of it all the time that half time I don't even zip it up all the way. So what I'm going to do is talk about this one, and I did do an unboxing of this guy with the rest of my uh, Goulet pens order. So I just wanted to do a video of trying to figure out which fountain, which lucky, lucky fountain pens get to go in my very first fountain pen case. Here are a few of them, which is on this really ugly towelette because it has all the inks and and watercolor stuff on it but I do have a video coming up on my pocket fountain pens and so a lot of them are here on my desk and then um, I'm gonna show you the others which are in here so let me show you that now if you haven't seen that video I will link it up above but I go through all of my, like, the layers, and I talk about the case itself. And so here, you can't, I can't get it all the way into the frame. But here is my fountain pen collection. And then I also have the little towelette right here. So these are all the fountain pens I own. And after looking at them, like, laid out right now, I realize I, it's... Not, it's a decent um, beginner's fountain pen collection, I guess you could say. I don't have that many advanced. Actually, I don't think I have any advanced fountain pens in my collection, or what they would consider advanced. I mainly have more of the beginner to the intermediate level. So, which pens are going to be going into my new case? So, this case is called the Girologio. Girologio. It is a zippered wraparound case that has a nice soft velvety interior. It is very like tiny um, in comparison to the pictures online. And I will insert those pictures as well on the website. I got this from GouletPens.com and they have like the black, they have a brown, and then they have larger pen case, um, pen cases that will hold more pens. So this is only the 12 pen holder. And as you open it up, it has six on the left side, a flap, and then six on the right side. And this flap is made of velvet, nice smooth velvety texture, and also the backing here is velvet as well. And then you get your six loops, which seem to be, I can stick my fingers in here, so they are a nice good thickness. I don't know how it would fare with a very thin pen, like a Tombow. Let's see. This is a Tombow dual brush pen. You can kind of get an example of how tiny <laughs> this case is, but there shouldn't really be many fountain pens that are this long, so <laughs> I should be okay. At least I don't own any. So I'm trying to decide which 12 of my pens will go in here. I think I'm leaning towards the obvious, which is my most expensive pens, not necessarily the ones I use on a daily basis, 
and sometimes it happens to be both. My most expensive pens are the ones I use and sometimes they're not. But either way, I think it would be good to house my pens that I spent a lot of money on. Those would be, if I'm looking in this pile, obviously this guy, which is the newest to the collection. This is the Opus 88 in the blue. So I'm just gonna set that to the side and I do want my Twisby fountain pen. Um, this is in the extra fine. This is the fine. Uh, and this one is the Diamond Mini. I have my Traveler's fountain pen, but I don't think it's really going to fit well in this case. So I'll have to check that out. Next, I know I want my Vanishing Point, and this is in the matte black Pilot. Uh, e, E95S, I think it's called. This one has a gold nib, this one has a gold nib, and the rest are steel. When I look in this case, I also have my Pilot Decimo, which is a vanishing point. I need to add that. I also have my Conklin, which is the American. It's a big, hunk, hunky, cigar-looking pen. And I also have the Pilot Falcon. Then I have my Twisby Diamond 580. And this was in, like, I think it's the rose. Is it rose? Not rose gold, but it's like a rose color. These are my... Well, and then I have the uh, Monteverde Demonstrator, and I forgot the color name, but it's like a turquoisey blue color. And then I have this Monteverde pen, which I detest. I do not like this pen. <laughs> now the rest of my pens are pretty much Lammies, Pilot Metropolitans, Pilot Parallels, Twisbees. So I really, really like my Twisbees, and therefore, can I add these? I hardly have room. Okay. I like my Twisbees and I have three. I have the black, the white, and then the pink. I think that's all I can really fit. That's 12 right there. This one I don't think I'm going to fit and plus I really like using it. I really like this pen. If you guys haven't seen this, this is the Traveler's Company uh, metal pen, fountain pen. And it's tiny, 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 tiny. But you cap it or you post it and it becomes pretty much a full-size pen. It's pretty cool. And then it actually patinas over time. So this, when I first got it, was super, super shiny. A lot more shiny than you see right now. And it's already getting its patina and darkening as I've been using it. Most likely, I'm not going to be able to fit this one in there, so I'm going to take this guy out. So this is what I'm choosing to put into that case. I also have one more, which is the my only Faber-Castell pen, and I really like this one because it has awesome detailing. And it has like the fingerprint detailing, and then it's the pink body. It's really cool. And um, so I have this one, and then I need to know, let me know in the comments if you think I should switch one of these out with this guy and put this one in the case instead of one of the others. I would like to hear your opinions on that. But that's pretty much it. And so with that being said, it kind of leaves a lot more room in this pen case, which I like. I'm just going to fast forward it and kind of decide how I want to fit this in there and I will let you watch. Pushing the past again, oh. You know my little triggers keep on triggering them all. I've had enough of this, oh. So this is what I have. 
we're zooming in okay so sorry for the glare but I have my Twisby Ecos this is the white and this is in a medium nib this is the black and a broad nib and this is the pink and the fine nib this one is in a medium nib and this is like the Twisby, Twisby um, 580 this and I think it was a special edition this one is the Twisby Diamond Mini and an extra fine. This is the Conklin All American. Then you have the um, Pilot E95S, I believe. The um, Decimo. This one is in the medium. This is in the fine uh, vanishing point. These are both vanishing points. This is in the fine, and it's the Pilot Falcon, and then I have the Monte Verde in the medium, and then I have my Opus 88 in the fine. And then, if I close it, dips very well. You can't really tell which way is front which I guess is kind of nice because then you don't have to worry about always everything facing the right direction. Um, let me give you a comparison of how small this guy is. Rena's um, leather pouches. This is her envelope postal pouch. Basic slim. Fadden touch up and latte. Oh my gosh, this is practically the same size, kind of. It's a little bit wider, as you can see. B6, I, standard. There's a Weeks, it's from Chic Sparrow. Here is a pocket folio. A little bit wider than a pocket. The height is almost exactly the same. Let me know if you have any other uh, questions about this case. I haven't really seen anyone um, talk about the cases, not anyone recently talk about the Girologio zipper pen cases, um, but I like it. It's lightweight, it's not heavy, so and it almost looks like a notebook. I wonder you probably could actually fit a notebook in here, maybe if you didn't have the pens, like six pens on one side. I'm really excited, I'm glad it's not clunky and large, like overly large, and it's like just the perfect height for even my largest fountain pen, so works for me. All right, well I wanna thank you guys for watching, and if you have any questions, don't forget to listen down below in the comments, and I will be quick to answer them, and as always, thank you for watching. Catch you in the next one. Bye. Here's my traveler's note, my traveler's company fountain pen.